Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. We all have our trials. I'm going to tell you what, I don't care who the person is. I don't care how successful they look on the surface. I don't care what they've been saying. We all had our things we had to go through. We all had our trials. We've all had our challenges. That's the whole point of being on this planet is to learn, is to overcome it. I don't care. You know what? I remember, I remember this was a couple decades ago. I was visiting a dear friend, may she rest in peace, out in California. And we were, uh, as part of our church, um, you know, went to church with her and they would have uh, meetings, get togethers afterwards. They would have it, um, you know, group of people get together and just talk. And just honestly, just sit back and talk. And I never f forget like one of the women there, she actually looked at me, she actually said it. She said, well, I know you don't have any problems going through life. <laughs> And I just looked at her and just said, oh, you just don't know. Because at the time, without getting too deep into it, it was a problem that had me out there to begin with. It was a serious time. It was a tough time in my life. And my friend, well, like I always say, rest her soul. She, she said, hey, come on out to see me. All right. So I remember that. And I was just like, wow, she just don't know. And, uh, you know, then back then I thought about it. It was like, you know, yeah, on the surface, but I was going through something at the time. Now, I got through it with the help of my dear friend, but the thing was, I was still going through it. You don't know. I, you know what? You can see somebody, they could be what you consider handsome or beautiful, and, you know, they could be successful, um, you know, what people consensusly consider successful. They can have that nice home and car. You don't know what demons they're fighting. You don't know what they had to go through. Because, look, let's just be real. Most of us are wearing masks. 99.9% .9 of us are wearing masks. And even those who try to live as authentically as possible, there's going to be some mask with some stuff. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know how many smiles out here uh, hide some bad things. And I, trust me, I've known... <laughs> probably hundreds of people. You know, you see them from the surface, you think everything is great, but then they hit you with something. It's just like, wow. You know, from men and women, old and young, regardless of race, regardless of spiritual background, we're all going through something. Now, some of us, yeah, some of us are doing better than others, but even the ones doing better than others, they had to fight to get to that point. They had to fight. We all have it. Is we all want to have a challenge. I don't care. You know what? I don't care what your IQ is, what your racial background is, what your uh, economic background is. We're going. To, you're going to have something. Something's going to come, and that's okay. That's what was meant to happen. But see, the thing with the trials, they are meant to help you to grow and to be into your best self. See. One of the biggest issues is when people go for the trials and they let that trial hurt them. They, they let it hurt them. You know, when they, when they face that demon, they let it stop them. They don't face it. Whenever, you, whenever something happens, you have to face it. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. You have to face it because you know what? If you don't face it, then it's going to come back at some point. You have to face all the trauma. Yeah, you've been hurt, and it could be the tra trauma is terrible that you might have faced. Some type of physical abuse, emotional abuse, uh, psychological abuse, however you want to term it, it's still some abuse that you went through. It's still some bad moments that you went through. And I don't mean just on a physical basis. Yeah, that's a uh, challenge in itself, but especially on a mental basis, on so many levels. We've all had them. I know if I've had my challenges. I have no problems admitting that. Anybody come to me and say, well, everything gone perfect for you. I was like, oh, let me sit you down and explain some things. And, but you know what? The thing I'll say for myself, I fought through many things and still fighting through some things. I'm still fighting through some things. Now I'm more functional than most people and I've gotten through a lot, 
But I don't care what it is. It could just be the little tiniest thing. If it's that tiny thing, if you don't deal with it, it becomes a bigger thing. You got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. And like I said, even for myself, my feeling is I'll probably be facing stuff for a long time. Grew up in a lot of chaos. And, you know, still dealing with some uh, issues from it. One time it was like that. Now it's closer to this. But yeah, just that little bit could be a problem. And we all do it. But part of the lesson is to overcome that. And then possibly a lot of people that go through something, but then they can come back and help others. I'll give you a great example. There are a lot of drug counselors, abuse counselors, um, just counselors in different fields. You know, somebody could have went through like spousal abuse, domestic violence or something. Some of the best counselors are those who went through it themselves. They overcame it. Then they can help someone else or drug counselors. Some of the best drug counselors, they were on drugs themselves. They got through it. So what they do, they reach back and help someone else. You know, I've heard about those 12 step meetings and everything. And they'll say the counselors will be somebody who went through it themselves. You know, you, so you not only helping yourself, you help, you can help others. But unfortunately, there's some people who don't get through those things. There's some people who suffer, who suffer. But the thing I would say to them is, you're not alone. We all went through it. Don't look at me and act like I ain't go through anything. I just was able to fight it, you know? And still, you still got that little bit, you know, carrying that, okay, I'm fighting that too, getting in there. Like, yeah, oh, you got something? Oh, I got something for you too. Bap, bap, pow, you know? <laughs> and yes, and, but you, you get stronger from it. And then you, the thing is, once you beat those trials, and get them down or get the if I get the demon at least, you know, subjugated, under control, you find your life gets better. All of a sudden, that thing that was stopping you from maybe getting in that good relationship no longer has the same level of control. Now, you still got to fight it to keep it out, but you're in a better position. Or like money, let's be real, we all want to make money. We all want to make money. And one of the things I found through life and just uh, my own experiences and seeing other people's experiences is the biggest thing stopping us from like really succeeding is ourselves. I'll use myself, I have no problems using myself for an example. The level of success I had now, I could have had like way back in the day. I could have already had it. I look back at it, it could have been like right out of high school. Because I saw it, because one of the things, what I do now, the basis of it started in high school. But I just went in a different direction. But why? That was the demons I had to fight within myself and took a path that really wasn't true to who I was. You know, it really wasn't true to who I was. But I had to fight the demon that even got me to that point. Now that I'm more true to who I am, things are working out. All of us, a lot, all of us go through that. A lot of people, if you're not successful, you're not living the life you want, you gotta say, okay, what, what, what am I being taught? What trials am I going through? Because once you beat the trial, once you beat that combat with that particular demon, then, then you'll find that life becomes great. And I've seen that, I've seen that with dear friends. Once they defeated that demon, kept it under control, and then every now and then, they got to go in there and like, uh, 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 you know, but they're doing well. A very dear friend now, I'm seeing what's happening in her life now that she has really fought those demons. But unfortunately, some have fought, some aren't winning that battle. And this is what I'll say, fight your own trials, go through them, fight your own demons, but then as best as you can, even if it's just an encouraging word, let them know, let the people in your, that you love know, hey, you know what? I believe that you can beat this. I'll help as best as I can. Seriously, you don't have to be paid for it or anything like that. But understand that every single, every single one of us have gone through something. In fact, I, I still want to meet the person that hasn't gone through anything. I really do. Because we all have our trials. But. I believe in every single one of you that you can beat those trials. You can win those moments. You can defeat those demons. You can, at the very minimum, keep them under control. All right? So 
That's all I have for now. I wish victory for all of you. You know, to borrow a quote from Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, and uh, for those who watched that alien race, the Jim Hadar, what they would always say, victory is life. Victory is life, yo. All of you can win, can beat those trials. You can get past them, all right? Keep rising, everyone. Peace and blessings.